Hello and welcome to today's Photoshop tutorial. Today's Photoshop tutorial is going to be a text effect tutorial, okay? And we're only going to be using just one stock. Uh, it's going to be used for the purpose of a background. And we, let's just open this background right now. Okay, this is this stock is by Mr. ISO. Okay, ISO stock. Thank you for his permission uh, that I may use this. Okay, uh, so let's begin. Um, click on new. Let's go with a width of one thousand and a height of 600 okay and now let's just drag unlock this first and now we want to drag that up here convert that to smart object zoom out by holding alt and mouse wheel uh, upwards and then by clicking this slider right here we hold our shift and our alt key and now drag downwards or southwest to reduce the size zoom in and let's reduce this again looks okay now why don't we click this slider right here and hold shift and alt and drag to the right that looks good and we want to copy this click layer one and drag here or click ctrl J and now drag here and click ctrl T right click flip horizontal okay and now we want to just make this like the uh, one image or they match okay that looks okay okay now we begin let's go to our text tool here uh, we're waiting there it is we're gonna be using uh, toonie noodle <laughs> I love this toonie noodle and F <laughs> whoever came up with that was a very funny guy so we're just gonna make a uh, because this actually, this text effect is for a birthday, so let's make it happy birthday, okay? This is a sort of a, as always, it's kind of abstract because I'm quite fond of abstract. I don't know if you are, but I am. But, uh, so let me just increase the size here. It looks okay. Don't worry if it doesn't look right here. It doesn't look as if you can see the B. Don't worry because we're going to make the, uh, we're just going to add some styles and that's it. So let me just zoom in here. Position camera or text right there. Okay, let's go in here and let's start with bevel and boss. Okay, click bevel and boss on technique. Make sure that it is on smooth. Our depth will be 100. Uh, the size is 5 and the soften is 0. Okay, our angle is 120 degrees over 60 altitude. And the gloss count. Uh, contour is uh, the slidey thing here and for our, our highlight mode here we want to set that on normal set that to a hundred percent and click here and we want to set this uh, the uh, indication here by zero zero f six f f okay click enter and for the shadow mode it is still in multiply but we're gonna change the color and the opacity is to a hundred and the number here is or the hexadecimal point or whatever it is is one five nine f f f enter and now we're gonna click on texture can you see the difference uh, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can actually see the difference which it looks okay okay so I hope you can tell the difference. This is without the bevel and boss, and this is with. Okay. Now we're gonna go into texture here, and we're gonna go to our standard uh, pattern here, which is the bubble, the bubble thing, and the scale is 100, and the depth is 100%. Okay. And now we're gonna go into inner shadow. Okay. We'll we want to set this at uh, this multiply and the. I forgot what this is called. We'll set this to 0, 8, D, 8, B, 8. Click enter. Okay. And now we want to set the distance to 285. Okay. 285. 285. Oops. Sorry. I accidentally clicked enter. Sorry. Choke 54. And this. Oops. I clicked enter again. It's a very bad habit. The size is zero okay and now the angle is 120 degrees and now we want to go into satin here 
and set it to multiply and the uh, color we will set that to 1 E8892 enter at 50% the angle is 19 the distance will be uh, 188 okay ah, I clicked enter again ah, it's a really bad habit anyway let's go back to size here make sure the size is 68 okay ah, click enter again how many times have I clicked that four times now it's a really bad habit anyway or maybe it's a good habit let's go into color overlay here and we want the color to be 2 F seven zero two uh, I mean two F seven zero seven two okay click enter normal is the blend mode and the opacity is one hundred and now we're gonna go into outer glow okay and here we go where's that set it to a hundred percent opacity the noise at nine percent see that that is without and this is with okay and we want to change the color here to uh, E F F. Sorry, what happened? What happened? What happened? By the way, this is unedited as always because yeah, I like doing these things unedited. E F F zero F F. Okay, so you get that kind of uh, bubbly, glowy effect inwards. Now we want to set the uh, technique, or yeah, it is red technique to softer the spread to about 50, or it's up to you. But in, I click enter again. I'm really beginning to hate my habit here. The size we will set that at um, three percent, and contour we'll just leave it at this. So we'll go into drop, drop shadow here. And we want to set this at 50%. Set that to normal and set that to white. Okay, can you see the difference? This is without. See that there's no uh, shadow here or glow. And we put that now. There's an inward shadow thing to bring uh, emphasis. Okay, our angle is negative 74. And our distance will be 3. Three. Our spread will be 10, the size will be 12, and our contour will be set on this one, the second one, this is your uh, 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 standard, so that it looks like this, okay, this is the normal one, and if you do it like this, it kind of spreads out with this very nice, noiseous effect. So, basically, we are done, actually, so you just want to increase this, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I'm just going to play around with this and let's see what I can come up with. I will post the final results at the very end of the video. I would just like again to uh, say that please share this video if you enjoyed it to your friends or to whomever, whomever people that, that are genuinely interested into uh, these kinds of things um, to what I do because uh, I do take requests and I do pay attention. So please like, subscribe, favorite this and make a comment if you question okay uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and stay tuned for the next video tutorials to come okay take care bye bye